Global Entrepreneurship Week is challenging to understand in some respects because it's 35,000 events happening at the same time in 125 different countries. Global Entrepreneurship Week offers you the opportunity to come and test your aptitude. Join a networking event. Come and meet a mentor. Come experience a boot camp. Come and experience some other element of the startup community in your city, in your town, and learn about whether or not at some point in your life you may have the interest and the skill to be able to join a startup. And I think this has been effective in allowing people to feel that they're not only driving more of their fellow citizens to consider the path of entrepreneurship in their own countries, but they're learning and participating with people from other nations. It's really in the hearts and the minds of the individuals in each of these countries. There's a way that now we think entrepreneurs might be the force for change in their countries for things beyond just economic change that they can actually make the world a better place. The field of entrepreneurship is no longer something of narrow commercial significance. It's something of more cultural consequence. It's something that represents the possibility of human endeavor for the benefit of all. The globalization of startup communities actually gives the world a much better chance at solving some of the intractable challenges of the decades past. So in a sense, we see more citizens trying their hand at helping the world innovate its way out of its challenges. The world needs more entrepreneurs. It's a question of inspiring more people to recognize that it's more important to the future of their societies than they previously recognized. Global Entrepreneurship Week is an idea bigger than all of the communities that make it up, and it represents something that we can all aspire to, which is to be part of one global community of people ferreting out better ways of doing things and improving the lives of our citizens. The three schools have battled it out in the last three episodes. Each of them have put their best foot forward to make their mark on the judges and make their business count. Ofafa Jericho's Mensa company opted to go with a product and the CEO tells us why. We also realized that many students in our school um, were going to the nurse more frequently and therefore the need was about hygiene, cleanliness. So that's why we came up with a product of soap. And therefore, they set out into creating Gloss, a hand soap made from recycled material, that is, old soaps that have been discarded. Mensa gave an exceptional presentation, but the judges had some reservations. If they had a specialist in the branding and the brand positioning and did a market visit, yeah. I think they have a good product going. I, I also had an issue with, uh, with the size, okay? Uh, I want to hold something substantial. I, but your hand is big. <laughs> because you're an adult, you're a big man. Yeah. I this think they, just, school. they need to just under, look at their competition a little closer and refine the product more along to um, taking some of the, uh, the, the more established competitors on. Nana's Bread Spread was the product of Bandswidth Company from Dagoretti High School. Our findings were that most of our students were using ripe bananas between their slices of bread to serve as margarine. Did the risk of choosing a perishable product pay off? Nanas is high on demand and the raw materials which are bananas for producing nanas are readily available. Nanas being a new product in the market caught the attention of many. In our last financial year, we recorded a total of 665 sales. The year started well. Our initial capital was raised from selling of shares and forwarded accounts which amounted to 16,000. 690 Kenya shillings. Bandswidth did thorough research on their market and armed with expert certification, they gave incentives to bulk buyers. But was this enough to win over the judges? If the product does not move off the shelf within a week or even two weeks, it means that you're going to have a lot of re returns. And therefore, that could be very challenging in terms of your sales and also the sustainability of your business. 
Precious Blood Reruta went for practicality and convenience with their product. Sparkle, an instant stain remover, a product of the Hidaya Company. Most of the students in our school are people who use ink pens. So we thought of something that could help the students remove the stain. That's how we came up with the instant stain remover, which was a combination of various chemicals. The main product had to be really worked on. We had to research quantities, what to put exactly. We just had to work together, all of us, because it's all about unity. The well-oiled United Front resonated in the presentation with a sound business strategy and structure, which yielded great returns for their shareholders. Their passion flowed to their immediate community. We, as the Hida Limited, give back to the community through the Kijani Greenhouse. And like the name says, Kijani, we grow green vegetables such as spinach, kales, and tomatoes, and the like. We give half of the harvest to Amani, which is a neighboring primary school, and the other half we give to the school. And these were the judges' concerns. If they keep it at maybe school level without necessarily mm -hmm. going into yeah. 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 your home, yeah. then yes. it doesn't really matter because if you're in, especially boarding school, you're also looking at price. Yeah. So if they make it too fancy... Just understanding their market. Yeah. Really yeah. working out maybe who is the target. Care, yeah. But it's not a consistent shape. Mm -hmm. We have heard from the schools and the judges, and it has all come down to one moment. Who will emerge victorious? Okay, uh, precious blood. Um, sparkles, the ultimate stain remover. Um, I like this product. It was nicely, nicely packaged. You put it across very well. You had a good financial return on the product. And also the fact that you gave back to the school through... The, uh, uh, through the, green, the greenhouse. Very good, you know, sort of corporate responsibility on that. Um, I mean, you look absolutely magnificent as well. Maybe not something that I would personally use, but maybe it's not uh, uh, a product that's actually aimed specifically at, uh, at the, should we say, the older, ma older male. Well, Fafa Jericho, gloss. I like the angle you're taking with this. Um, having been in a girl's school, I know it was like visiting boys in boys' schools. They all looked a bit dry, not necessarily clean. So I like the angle. Um, gloss, because you guys want to be chic and sleek, at least today, generation Y. Um, the old fogies might not agree, but this is how you, you know, make the other side, you know, see you. So I like that, and I like the hygiene side. It is important. Definitely a plus is recycling. I like the way you've recycled um, the soaps. And your packaging as well. I like the size. It's not too big, so it's not too much waste. I guess with so much waste is how you're ending up having to recycle in the first place. So the size is not too bad, I think. Um, you've also made a profit. And we've had a healthier, cleaner school. And less students are sick, as you said, right? Yeah. Well done. Good. Then we come to Dagoretti uh, High School. Nana's. I think uh, that's a very catchy name. It, it had a, not only um, uh, uh, a health appeal, but I think uh, it had uh, a very. It fits very well in the snack area, because you can you you, you can apply it on a on a chapati, a bread. Uh, I like the fact that uh, you had uh, collaborated with your uh, caterers, okay, in terms of getting good technical advice. And also, she certified it, okay? Uh, I thought that was very, very important to get independent feedback. So overall, I thought uh, it was a very, um, very, very impressive uh, presentation. Yeah, well done. Um, I think we'll just sum it up with a little, little write-up as to who an entrepreneur is. I believe you're all going to go out as entrepreneurs. I think you've shown amazing, amazing um, potential, great products and great businesses from each one of you. We know you've had very limited time to do this, right? So who is an entrepreneur? One who can identify a niche in the market, and I think you all have. Key people to achieve the goals. Each of you said your team, you've identified, and this was the best person for this. You each team had a CEO, which I think is quite commendable as well. You take risks. You took risks even coming this far. You could have backed out and said, you know, we're not going to go ahead with this. You should drive an initiative. 
And you have the energy to overcome many obstacles, right? After today and all the feedback you've heard from us, um, I'm sure you're going to go back and still continue. And you're resilient. And you're able to learn from your, your mistakes and you take criticism, isn't it? And just the last quote, winning is not everything, right? It's about competing, isn't it? You're all winners, right? It was quite hard for us to decide. So, our winner is... <laughs> Nanas oh. is our winner. <laughs> well done, guys. I'm glad that we were among the first pace setters for this show. The next generations have something to look up to. They should work on what we didn't work on. We don't regret anything, no take backs. All of it was just wonderful. I would really like to commend the winning team. Just like the Swahili man says, Asiya Kubali Kushindra Sim Shindani, I've seen faults that I never knew we had. And getting opinions from the judges was an honor for me. I'm disappointed. Uh, but I'm not beat down. So I thank JA for this opportunity, for this experience. It has been so great, much fun indeed. There's no way you can come all the way to the Nationals, then you reach here, then you see you're a loser. It doesn't make sense at all. So we believe that all of us are winners. Coming here, we've learned a lot from our competitors, and I can say uh, we are good. I love the experience. It has been mind-blowing, and I can't wait to do my own business. My team, I am proud that I led it. In the right way and with this you've seen the results we've won and this is what we are waiting for so we thank JA basically and this is only just a, the start with this with the experience we are going to it will serve as a stepping stone for our success we're going to be big and advance it join us again on the next series of the junior achievement program the pitch Foundations, celebrating 10 years of founding futures.